I'm probably more nervous than he is. Um, I'm just a bit more sensitive than him and I don't want him to get food, but um, I couldn't decide whether to go or not and I've decided not to go. I just think it'd be too full on for me, so I'll just sit at home with some friends and watch it on TV. Um, but he seems to be going well. He knows that it's, it's going to be a big game and that, you know, he's going to get banter from his old teammates, but it's all in good fun and I think he'll really actually enjoy playing up against them. Shoes? Yeah. And jobs? I think. Yeah. He's very, very friendly. He, I'm actually always telling him off because randoms inbox him on Instagram saying how they're big fans and that, that he's their favourite player and he replies to every single one if they're nice and I keep telling him you don't have to do it to everyone but he doesn't, he doesn't want to disappoint anyone and I think he's just really grateful for being able to play football because I know that he always stays out and signs every fan's autograph until they tell him to come in and he's just the best. See ya. Yeah, so that's uh, Dom is his name, um, one of my best mates. Uh, it's either him or my other mate Piva or my other mate Ray who usually drive me in because um, I don't like driving in really because I'm lazy like that. So um, if they're there, they'll do it. So uh, I asked him and yeah, he just uh, he always takes me in when he gets a chance and absolute legend. Love him for that. Thank you, Dom. See you, legend. Just keen to get up there. Um, be weird, my old stomping grounds. I know where we're staying in the precinct is only uh, five, ten minutes away from where I used to live, so I know the place like the back of my hand, and um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it and getting up with the guys and having a run around at Spotless and probably catch up with a, with a few guys today um, from the Giants uh, and have dinner with a couple of them tonight, maybe, and um, yeah, just really looking forward to it. <clears throat> but I've bloody forgotten my DS at home, I can't believe it. Oh, well, I like to play games, people know that, I play Xbox and, and stuff, so it does, doesn't change, so I like playing um, my PS Vita and playing basketball on that and playing, I like playing Pokemon on my Nintendo DS, so I like to read as well, as well, so I just spent about 20 minutes in the bookstore looking for a book, about 40 minutes actually, so um, yeah, I'll probably read, a, I just bought a book about um, crime, so I'm really interested in, in true crimes and and what goes on, so I'm gonna read that on the plane and probably read that quite a bit in the hotel. And then um, do some study on the opposition like I, I generally always do, I do that the night before, so I won't have to do too much this week because I know um, I know a lot of them inside and out. So yeah, that's generally what I do when I travel. Last year, obviously, been the first time I played against the Giants boys. It was um, a little bit daunting going to the game, um, playing against some of my best mates. You know, I spent two years up here and made some great friendships. And um, yeah, certainly I was, I was, I was nervous, but um, had a job to do. And um, yeah, last last year made it so much better when we won the game. So hopefully tomorrow we can go out there and do that for ads. And you know, he's he's the ultimate professional, so I'm sure he'll have his mindset on on doing his job for the team. And um, I expect him to perform quite well. Still following, yeah. We probably watch more Collingwood games than we used to. Just keep an eye on what Adam is doing, and he's—you can see some of the qualities that he had at the Giants, and he still brings them to um, to Collingwood. And um, oh, yeah, we still respect him. We really respect how he plays, and and he's a really good guy.
Adam Trelaw, first game against his old team. What a massive day for him. Fantastic pre-game here as well, it must be said. Now, this is the big show now. Ward tries to drag it away. He's wrapped up, ball up. The one, two. Moore heads for home, goal square, Cloak. Turn his man inside out and turn back the clock. Brown with the fist. Smith having a big roll. Trelaw, short. Oh, just past a couple. Second term. That's Mumford, better. Grundy, beautiful palm down, but Trelaw going nowhere. Yeah, I was pretty stressed out a bit, uh, or quite a bit actually. I, I'm a really nervous type of person when it comes to games and obviously playing against my old team um, was going to be another unique situation for me. So, yeah, I was, uh, I was very nervous going in. Um, I just tried to calm my nerves down as, as much as I could. Um, just try to prepare the same way as I do possible. It sucks that we play an early game because I like playing later games. I didn't have much time to relax on game day. I really had to get up and walk and stuff. So um, didn't have much time to really relax um, and clear my thoughts. So I just went into it like a, like a normal game. It's a good spot. The Kaffa almost with the pluck. Bends it around the body. It's floating. It's high. They got another one. And welcome back for Kaffa. Trelaw. To some booze, kick smothered. Mumford. Trelaw, the steal again. Gives it back to White, sits it up for Solo. One on one. He's the hot man. And he rakes it in. Blair from the pocket. No way. Oh my goodness. What? They are hot and hot. <laughs> so just so proud of the guys. The guys, uh, we've got reward for effort today. I mean, we tease our fans and, and ourselves and, and how good we can be and, and how consistently good we can play. And, and I think today was a bar in that first quarter. Um, from there, we really, really played the way we trained and wanted to play. And I'm just so, so relieved that the game's over, that we come away with four points. Um, and yeah, I'll move on to next week. I'm just, the stress is gone and it moves on just to another week of normal footy and not coming up against a uh, team we used to play for. Yeah, so Kelsey sent me a really good message, actually. I'll get it up. Um, and I checked my phone straight away, and there was a few messages from a lot of people, and it was just a bunch of crying faces saying, I'm so happy for you, um, and saying, yeah, so happy for you. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, she was, uh, like, I, like I said before, after the game when I was speaking to, um, I forgot who I was talking to, but I said how it was an emotional week for Kelsey and I because we were so, like I said, I, I basically grew up as a footballer there. Um, we were so invested into the club that, you know, we, I gave my all to the Giants and, and Kelsey moved up with me and then spent her time up there as well. So, um, you know, I still, I still care about the footy club. I hope they do so well because I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for the Giants. So, like I said before, I wish them so well, but like I said, it's been a really emotional week for us. Um, coming up and playing and, and um, yeah, it was just, it's just such a relief that it's done. I mean, Kelsey, I know, is a massive stressor like me and, um, you know, there'd be times throughout the week where I was was relaxed and feeling really good and, and Kelsey, you know, would bring up the game saying he's scared, this and that, and, and start stressing me out. So I know Kelsey's super relieved and um, you know, I'm glad she's on my side. So, yeah, she's uh, she's super happy that we got the win, which is another thing because if we if we didn't win today, she knew she knows how bad I would have been, um, you know, in terms of me just being down and flat because she has to pick me up from the airport as well. So, um, yeah, I love her. She's, uh, she's been so good for me.